Hey Facebook, how are we doing? Hope hope we're having a good morning so far. Um, it is 8.08 .08 in the morning on this Wednesday, August 24th. We are a little bit late today, but that's okay. If you are joining us live on Facebook, thank you for doing that. I'm Saquon. Uh, before we get started, of course, you guys know my spiel. Don't forget, you can always watch, listen uh, to this live stream later throughout the day. You can do that by visiting our YouTube uh, channel, Inform YouTube channel. You can do that by finding us on your favorite podcast platform, or you can just uh, type in inform.com slash podcasts and then click on the Inform Minute as well. All right, uh, let's start with a first day of school for some Grand Fork students. Um, so again, if you're not familiar, this does only apply to uh, students in grades K through nine. So elementary students, they're gonna have uh, their first day starting at 825. Um, of course, middle school, they're gonna be starting at 840. High school students are already in class or should be. If not, you're tardy. Um, but they all started at eight this morning in Grand Forks. Um, unlike last year though, you guys, we found out that uh, the district is pretty confident when it comes to busing routes this year. Uh, so we checked the district's website. We found out there's actually enough drivers for five routes in the morning, seven routes for after school. Um, because um, if you remember last year, you know, the district was dealing with a shortage of bus drivers. A lot of districts were actually. Um, and in Grand Forks partic in, in particular, you know, they had to have uh, bus drivers from the city come help out um, to, to really combat that problem. So um, that seems to be not a problem this year in Grand Forks. So we'll uh, keep tracking that. Of course, things can change throughout the school year as well. So we'll keep track of that. Uh, really quick reminder for parents, um, if you have a kid who takes the bus to school and you haven't filled out that transportation form, uh, you probably ha had to already, um, but if you didn't by, for some reason, you can, you can do that um, just by visiting the district's website, gfschools.org. Um, so just make sure that you have that transportation form on file. Um, also today in Grand Forks, Mayor Brandon Bochensky is hosting a fundraiser uh, to benefit Grand Forks and UND police, as well as the Sheriff's Office. And this is for his second Back the Badge event. So that's gonna be happening at the Alaris Center at six o'clock tonight. It's gonna include a parade, which of course could cause some delays for drivers. Um, so we know that the route is gonna start at the Alaris Center. It's gonna pass through uh, roads like, oh gosh, University Ave, South 42nd Street, some busy roads in Grand Forks um, before it eventually gets back to the Alaris. Um, so uh, we also know that Gosh, there's going to be some sort of performance put on by this group that does a bunch of motorcycle and ATV stunts. Um, so tickets for that is going to be around $25 to $30. Do so um, if you want to buy them, you can just do that by visiting the Grand Forks Herald's website. Um, okay, today we also know North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum is... Uh, uh, is set to announce his plans to propose what's being called a major tax relief proposal for people living in North Dakota for next year's legislative session. So that's going to be happening today at one inside the Capitol building. Um, you can also watch that announcement online just by visiting uh, the governor's Facebook page and you can just click on the live stream there. We also know uh, Governor Burgum is going to be on hand for the groundbreaking of that new soybean plant in Castleton, or soybean crushing plant in Castleton. Uh, so it's a $400 million project, um, and that's expected to be the state's second largest. It's going to be built right next to the Theraldton ethanol plant um, with uh, hopes of starting construction later this year, finishing the work in 2024. Also, we had some updates in that 2021 Proctor, Minnesota football hazing incident, if you guys remember that. Um, that led to a sexual assault conviction of a former player. We know that the team's coach resigned because of this. Uh, and then, of course, a cancellation of the football season. Uh, well, here's the update. The family of the victim is now suing the school district, suing the superintendent and the coaching staff. Um, so their lawsuit claims that the district and the team's coach did not take adequate measures uh, to remove this plunger. And that was the plunger that apparently was being used um, for hazing rituals in the locker room. And so that wasn't removed and uh, they never ensured that, you know, hazing came to an end. There was no more hazing. Well, now the family is seeking at least $75,000 in damages. Uh, we are choosing not to name the family just to protect the identity of that victim. But I wanted to let you know about that major update in that case. Also, another update on 
uh, the unfinished Roars townhomes that's supposed to be built near NDSU. Uh, so we know that Fargo City leaders have now reached an agreement with Roars Development. They have until May 31st of 2023 now to finish building those townhomes or they will be facing penalties. Um, so if you're not familiar, the townhomes were kind of planned as a compromise to the Roosevelt Neighborhood Association, which um, was concerned that the apartments that Roars built nearby uh, was gonna take away from that neighborhood feel. Uh, we do know as of now, construction on those townhomes still has not started. So uh, once they get going, we can let you know. Uh, but yeah, that's the update there. Uh, we also know that there's a new car wash in Fargo that's opening up today. So um, there's kind of, uh, how do I even say that? I, I, can't, I was trying to make it a surprise, but I can't even really make it a surprise. Um, you can get your car clean, clean for free if you head out there this week, and we'll get to that in just a second here. Um, but it's called the Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Lydia was saying that it kind of sounds like tropical. Um, yeah, that, I guess a tropical feel during our North Dakota winters would be pretty nice. Um, so Tidal Wave Auto Spa, it's located right on 13th, right across from the Target. Um, it's where Kelly Inn used to be. So it's actually a Georgia-based company, and this is their second location in North Dakota. So you are expecting to pay around 10 to 30 bucks, depending on what kind of level of wash you're going for. Here's what you need to do if you want to get your car clean for free. All you need to do is just go during regular business hours today through Sunday. Pretty neat, right? Um, I wonder how long that line is going to be now that everyone knows about this free offer. Um, okay, also we know that Crunch Fitness is going to be moving into that old Toys R Us building in Fargo. Finally, we know what's going to be replacing it. Um, so we got to look at some renderings of that today, which you can still find on inform.com. Um, but it's going to have some cardio and strength training equipment, indoor turf areas, a group fitness studio, hydro massage beds, which is very intriguing to me, uh, tanning beds, and then a children's area too. So all of these renovations, they're expected to cost around $4 million, extra $1 million for equipment. Um, and this is actually the first Crunch Fitness in North Dakota. I was so intrigued by the story. I was looking up Crunch Fitness and I was just looking at all the pictures and oh, it looks really nice. So maybe I'll become a member there at that gym. All right. Um, also today, it's the last day you can donate your personal care items to Broadway Square in downtown Fargo ahead of the Day of Dignity. So as a reminder, here's what um, items these organizers are looking for. Uh, things like sunscreen, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, and razors. Of course, all of those products should be unopened, unused. Um, and of course, this is all leading up to the Day of Dignity, which is on August 28th. Um, there's going to be a personal care pantry that day from noon to two. And any items that are not collected are going to be donated to the Gladys Ray Shelter or the um, Downtown Engagement Center. So again, you can bring those items from nine to five today to the Broadway Square. Okay, let's talk more nationally. Um, this is a pretty big update that we got overnight um, as we learned from the Minnesota BCA that a child who went missing at the Minneapolis-St. Paul Airport, um, she has been found safe and she's now reunited with her mother. So uh, BCA made that announcement at around one this morning. Um, and then as we told you last night, you know, airport police were looking for a 10 month old girl um, who took the light rail to the airport with a woman um, who was said to be in some sort of a crisis on Sunday night. So we're still trying to figure out who that woman was or is, um, but the BCA is saying that woman is likely not related to this child. So once we get that update for you, we will certainly let you know. Um, and then Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison right now is warning women that some care centers across the state are working to um, prevent them from getting abortions and abortion services. Uh, so he tweeted out actually a statement saying that these crisis pregnancy centers often don't offer the services that they claim to offer um, and information about abortion that they provide could be inaccurate or misleading. Now, he never said which specific care center, uh, but he did say that more than 90% of them do not have a licensed physician or staff member. Um, so wanted to let that or let you know about that. Um, we also know gas prices in the US have now dropped for 70 days in a row. Really good news for us, right? Uh, second longest streak in nearly 20 years, you guys. So they hit a record high of $5.02 in June. 
triple a since since then gas prices have dropped every single day so it might not last long so don't get too excited just yet um because the price of crude oil uh just rose for the first time in months but as of right now we do know that the national and north dakota's average um is at 388 a gallon for gas and then in minnesota it sits at 383 just a slight cheaper um in minnesota kind of interesting though i'm, I'm excited to see where all of our gas prices go hopefully lower and lower and lower all right also today um president joe biden is expected to announce his very long delayed plan uh to forgive up to ten thousand dollars in federal student loans and then of course that also comes with a possible extension um, or at least extend a pause on payments to January. So that actually is all coming with people who are familiar with this plan. And the report suggests that a partial loan forgiveness plan would impact borrowers who make less than $125,000 a year. Um, so of course we know payments haven't really started since COVID hit, um, or at least most payments, um, federal payments, I should say. But without that extension, we know that those payments are set to resume on September 1st. So we will definitely let you know. I'm sure many of you guys are watching out for the president's announcement as well on what is going to happen today when it comes to federal student loans. All right, um, hot mic with um, Izzo, 9 to 11, WDAY Extra, Inforum.com. Get excited, week one of the North Dakota high school football season is kicking off on Friday. So um, defending state champions from Jamestown face Red River. And the Blue Jays head coach is going to be joining the show today. Byron Buxton is hurt. We talked about that on First News this morning as well. Um, and Dick Bramer is going to be joining because it's Wednesday, Voice of the Twins. So you can also go uh, see what he has to say about the whole situation. All right. Um, again, 9 to 11, WDI Extra, Inform.com. On Inform.com, this is a story that... Um, it was really well done. It's by our very own Matt Henson. Here's a headline. It's owner of Glosser Images files for bankruptcy. Um, and it kind of explains a little bit more in depth as to why these couples who got married and are desperately waiting for their, you know, photos and videos from their special day, why they won't be able to get their money back or at least why it'll be a lot harder for them to get their money back so um lots of information lots of detail there um matt henson has his whole story on inform.com right now so feel free to check that out on our website all right guys that's all i got for you today don't forget for just 99 cents a month for your first three months you can get an all access pass to inform.com all you have to do go on inform.com slash subscribe but you already knew that we also have news at four five six nine and ten so make sure you go join our crew there and then we'll be back here tomorrow morning from five to seven all right everybody have a great day more updates of course to come on inform.com as well all right we'll see you back here tomorrow morning bye